guys, it's your girl, Bra Christina. Today I'm starting a brand new series on my channel. I'm sorry, what was that intro? <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. But today I'm starting a brand new series on my channel and I'm really excited about it because I actually get contacted a lot by like Chinese, Asian brands. I never know if I should do a video for them, if they're scammers. <laughs> Um, but I guess that's what this series is gonna be all about. I don't have an official name for this series yet. I put some stuff on Twitter like Scammer Glam, Scammer Dam, Scam or Yes Ma'am, like just shit like that that rhymes, I don't know. But today's victim is Zaffle. And let me just explain because all of you are probably like, Brooke, what the fuck? <laughs> Basically about Five, six months ago, I put out a video saying that Zaffel scammed me because they did. I'm not gonna explain the entire situation in this video, but if you guys are curious what happened, you can go watch that video. I'll link it down below. Basically, Zaffel contacted me and was like, hey, would love to work with you. And at first I was like, what the fuck? Like, are they serious? I thought about it for a long time. I asked so many people if it's like shitty of me to work with them. I even asked you guys on Snapchat, I remember. And all of you were just like, girl, do it. And so I did it. <laughs> Personally, I was extremely, extremely curious of what their quality was like because I never received my shit, so how would I know? And one thing that I just find um, odd, actually two things. Um, first of all, I ordered a big like cowl neck sweater type of thing, just a big chunky thing, you know? It gets freaking cold in Canada, I wanted that shit. And I never received it. So Zafo, what the hell? And I also ordered this little denim skirt. I'll put pictures here for you. But I ordered this little denim skirt that I was hella excited for because I thought it would be so cute in the summer or like going out and like, you know, shit. I was like pumped for it and it never came. So Zafo, what are you doing? And also my packages came in two separate packages. Basically a huge amount of them came in like one. And then I contacted the company being like, hey, receive my stuff, thanks. And then they contacted me back being like, oh bitch, there's another package coming. And I was like, what? I don't know, it seems sketchy to me. Why you couldn't put it all together? I don't know, but I'm not in charge of it. So this video, oh my. I I think I just went blind. This video probably will be very lengthy. Uh, so if you wanna grab some popcorn, grab some drinks, you know, go do that, pause the video, come right back, and I'll show you all my stuff. All right, so I'm gonna start off with bad stuff. <laughs> first of all, just don't buy chokers off of Zaffle. This is the first choker. Now, it's fine. Quality-wise, it's all together. It's fine, will I wear it? Never. When you put it on, it's like the black part, unless you have this thing literally choking you out, the black is just kind of like flimsy. This pearl part, way too big, and this chain is way too thick, and like, I don't know if that's just me being picky, like, I mean, it's all together. But girl, I ordered another choker and it fell apart the second I pulled it out of the bag. I wasn't the biggest fan. Will I wear this? No. Next thing I got is this bralette and like, bitch what? First of all, the little boobs are see-through. Maybe that's your thing. It's just not mine. And the clasp is just absolute garbage. You literally just put it like that, but like the second you shake, what the fuck? Yeah. The second you shake, it just like falls off, you know? And that's not what I want, especially if I'm just wearing a bralette. Hi, I have nothing on under this. I kind of want to keep it on. Next thing, I was super excited about this top. It is honestly super cute, but just like super weird. Like it doesn't work for me. Basically the straps are extremely stretchy. It's just so tight to the point where I can't wear a bra under it. But with the straps being so stretchy, it either just like like sags down completely and makes my boobs look awful. I'm sorry if that's TMI, but like it's the truth. Quality wise, it's nice. Body doesn't really have any stretch at all. I think just the straps got the stretch part. It's so freaking cute, but like, no. This next shirt is honestly a bed sheet. You can tell here's some loose threading like on both sides. Really? Okay, now this jacket. I was expecting big things for this jacket, but it just didn't happen. And I'm like really annoyed by it. First of all, this 
material is so thin. It is not gonna keep you warm whatsoever. The buttons on the arm are just super awkward, not to mention the length of the arms are extremely awkward. They come to about like here on me, or like maybe like here somewhere. They're not full, they're not half, they're like somewhere there, it's weird. It sits nice in the front, but then the back has this stupid little tail thing. Like what is that? It shows it has pockets. You guys know, I love things with pockets. It's not a real pocket. I got this in a size medium. Will I wear it? I mean, maybe once or twice if I'm desperate. Now, moving on to things I do like. I got this sweater, which is actually super nice. I've already worn this. Um, it's like a acrylic kind of knit. Also, when I received this, it smelled like dirty ass fish. I mean, it still kind of does, even after I washed it. What the hell? Quality's there, but like, the smell, man. Ugh. Next, I got this bomber jacket, which is actually nice, but again, I have problems with it. it. Looks like this, and I like it because it's not that like super satiny finish. The sleeves are super weird. The like inseam that goes here is all like scrunched. If I stretch out, then they like come up to here. I just don't want that. And then the back, I don't know if this is a sizing issue, but when I wear it, the back is all like puffed out. I constantly feel like I'm just like tapping my back to flatten it out. Also, this is like super weird because it's kind of like an American apparel knockoff. The tag says Amer Asian apparel. I don't know how well you guys can see that. This one actually has pockets and I would say the quality is really nice. Next is this dress. I really like this one. It's a maroon color and it's got kind of like some wooden buttons at the very front. And it goes all the way down to about my knees. I'm 5'5", five five, so that's where it hits me. One thing I didn't know about this dress is that it has a completely open leg on one side. It doesn't show that in the picture whatsoever. And I think I got it in a size small. The next couple things I'm showing you guys are off the shoulders because I was obsessed with that. Just looks like this, honestly, kind of reminds me of like a salsa dancer. Here's the little off the shoulder thing. I have absolutely no complaints over this. Um, it's like a chiffon material. These next three shirts I have to show you, I had problems with. I did modify them a little bit to make them work for me, but I will explain. So basically, I got this shirt, another off the shoulder. It's got this really pretty lace. One thing to keep in mind, if you do have kind of bigger arms, this might not work for you just because the armholes have absolutely zero stretch. The one thing I did kind of modify, if you will, um, was the bottom. It was so scrunched. Now it's just kind of flowy at the bottom. This next top is honestly so cute. Look at that. How cute. It's got like two little sleeves coming off the side. The only thing that was super awkward with this shirt is that it did come with like tiny little spaghetti straps. They were fine. They were adjustable. They could have worked, but just for me, they didn't. So I cut them off. This shirt, <laughs> so many problems. First of all, another off shoulder. That's what it looks like. It is just a long sleeve. However, with the sleeves, guys, awful. They were so scrunched to the point where like the hole was literally that tiny. Like I'm not exaggerating. It was like suffocating my arm. So obviously I had to take care of that around the bottom. It had the scrunchiness, but I took that out. So now it's just kind of flowy. There's no loose threads in the embroidery. So that's super nice. Next, I got this scarf, which is honestly probably my favorite thing within this entire haul. I've worn the absolute shit out of this. It is just a plaid like blanket scarf. It's literally so nice. Next, I have two pairs of sunglasses. Oh girl. These ones you may have seen on my Instagram. I really like them. I think they're cute. My dad says they're way too big for my face, but I think they're cute. They're like sassy and different and I feel like a total badass wearing them. I actually had a girl in the Starbucks dress through tell me she likes the shape of them so Starbucks girl approved and you guys may have seen these ones oh look at that reflection obnoxious in my opinion but I thought they were cool the last thing I have to show you is a bathing suit I saved the best for last and uh, funny story this is the bathing suit I tried to order the first time before I got scammed by Zaffle so um finally have it. It's just this orange. It's got colored stitching on the sides here. It's got green and pink. The thing that was actually very surprising to me was that it has adjustable straps, which is really nice. The only thing is the clasp worries me because it's plastic. 
I mean, it like actually clips together, which makes me feel a little better than that bralette that I showed you guys. These are the bottoms. These are extremely cheeky. That's the back. Hey, booty, what's up? I got this in a size small, and if you guys didn't know, um, when it comes to bathing suits, you can only order them in one size, which sucks because I'm a small on top and a medium on the bottom, but you can't mix and match. I'm gonna give them like a five out of 10. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, Zaffel, for sending me this stuff. I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. I love you all so, so, so much. And I will talk, why am I so weird? I don't know. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>